pretty nice sunny day today. Although I guess in terms of what I read, it wasn't too sunny for the company Twitch today. I was reading how apparently on that platform virtually every single information was leaked. Not just things like usernames and passwords, which is usually what would be, I guess, compromised when somebody hacks the site, if that's what you want to say anyways. But in this case, it's every single details from that, plus details of all their business transactions, how much they pay people and all that. And they verified it too. But like here they say, we can confirm a breach has taken place. Our teams are working with urgency to understand the extent of this. We will update the community as soon as additional information is available. Thank you for bearing with us. The information is out there on the web already. Apparently it started with this post on the site 4chan. And somebody says here, we bring to you today an extremely poggers leak. Twitch is an American video live streaming service that focuses on the video game live streaming, including broadcasts of esports competitions operated by Twitch Interactive, a subsidiary of Amazon.com. And as an example of why I guess some people feel it's a good thing, which is a little ironic when you read this, it's basically implying people within Twitch, it says their community is also a disgusting toxic cesspool. So to foster more disruption and competition in the online streaming space, we have completely honed them. And in part one, are releasing the source code from almost 6,000 internal Git repositories, including, for example, the entirety of Twitch TV with commit history going back to its early beginnings. Things like proprietary SDKs and internal AWS services used by Twitch. That's Amazon Web Services. So this is really huge. Because not only that, but if they have stuff that's related to Amazon and all that, then people who use that service in general could be affected as well. I would imagine the first thing that will go out mainstream wise are all, I guess, the payments and stuff like that. But in general, the biggest thing again is that they actually took pretty much everything in terms of the business. I'd be concerned about all the data, not just related to that site, but everything affiliated with Amazon that's connected with that. They even say it kind of reveals some unreleased products, people creating obviously like private accounts with companies showing a competitor and all that. That's just crazy. Seems like a bad week for people who run platforms, people getting hacked, having their businesses scrutinized for bad business practices. But I guess this was interesting where even though Google had their wing drone delivery attacked by ravens, apparently they're having more services around malls. It says, check out the world's first rooftop drone delivery service. As they describe it here, this new model, the first of its kind in the world, offers two important benefits. First, by using existing, traditionally underutilized rooftop space, we can shrink our operational footprint and expand access to drone delivery without needing any additional real estate. Second, this ability to co-locate with a retailer means that they can deliver directly to their customers, meaning more delivery offerings and expanded reach. Over the past month, we made over 2,500 contactless deliveries straight from the rooftop of the Grand Plaza Shopping Center in Logan, Australia, to consumers in a nearby area. And they're doing quite a few stuff. It says, in this pilot program, we deliver smoothies from Booster Juice, Bubble Tea from Chat Time, and Rolls from Sushi Hub. Starting today, we'll be delivering over-the-counter pharmaceuticals, personal care, general health, and beauty products from Terry White, Chen Mart. So I guess Google's really pushing ahead with their, I guess, drone delivery ambitions in that sense in Australia. Will that be a thing here? I just find it funny how all of a sudden, I guess it's so safe to fly over people and all that, and people make such a big deal about it. It's like all commercialized, huh?
All right, see you guys later.